Hi there, welcome to the new lecture on designing Azure Databricks. Let's first understand what exactly is Azure Databricks and then we will go for their offerings. So to understand about Databricks, it's a fully managed cloud-based big data and machine learning platform, right? And which is going to empower your developers to accelerate artificial intelligence and innovation. Azure Data Bricks provides the data science and engineering teams with a single platform for big data processing and machine learning. Azure Data Bricks managed Apache Spark platform and which is going to make it simple to run large scale Spark workloads. So basically, if you look at the Azure Data Bricks, offers a three environments. Uh, for developing and the data intensive applications, starting with your Data Bricks. SQL, which is going to provide you an easy to use pl platform for your analyst who wants to run your uh, run the SQL queries on their data leak to create multiple visualization types to explore query results from different perspectives and build share dashboards. So that's where the Databricks comes into the uh, picture for SQL and the other one would be the data bricks data science and engineering so which is going to provide an interactive workspace that's going to enable enables collaboration between your data engineers and data scientists and even machine learning engineers for a big data pipeline the data raw it could be raw or a structured data is ingest into Azure uh, through data factory in batches and streamed near real time using Apache uh, Kafka or even Hub or even even IoT Hub. So this data lands in the data lake uh, for long term persistent storage and in which Azure Blob storage or it could use a data lake storage. As part of your analytics workflow, Azure Data Breaks. Uh, to read data from a multiple data stores, uh, data sto data source, and turn into breakthrough insight using a Spark. That's where the second environment we could you know use for your applications. The third one would be the last one would be the Databricks machine learning. So when we talk about the Databricks machine learning, uh, it's an integrated end-to-end -end machine learning environment. Uh, for incorporating managed services for your uh, experiment tracking or model training or feature development and management and feature model serving model you're going to utilize the data breaks as a machine learning so these are the environment for developing your data uh, intensive applications now let's try to learn with a real-time applicable uh, case study uh, for example tailwind traders how they are gonna a target for the data break data science and engineering as a case let's say that they have already data engineers data scientists and data analysis who's going to collaborate and produce a quick insightful reporting for many stakeholders uh, but they need uh, what they what exactly they need is they want to leverage the cloud services for their big data needs uh, with their of course the engineer so in that situation you would be you know utilizing the data breaks data science and engineering uh, one of the environment uh, which is going to provide you integrated analytics workspace for your uh, apache spark that's going to elaborate uh, that's going to collaborate between different users and also if you look at the spark components like uh, SQL and data frames it can handle a structure or structured data integrates with the real-time data uh, ingestion uh, tools like uh, Kafaka and Flume for processing and streaming data so we did talk about it so this is the best possible uh, solution that we could you know offer from these environment and let's also look at you know now how Azure data bricks works so this is going to uh, represent within the small diagram so if you look at here left side you have a microsoft data Bricks subscription other side is the client subscription which consists of your data plane and uh, here inside the data plane you have a customer's data source with a multiple type of like cosmo db or sql whatever type of data which is coming up to your data plane and the left side if you if you look at here on a microsoft data brick subscription you have a 
control plane. So control plane consists of your web application, jobs, Hive Meta Store, cluster manager. These are the components that are going to be uh, utilized. Uh, and the notes and the query results, ACLs for the security purpose, and the sessions, all of that. And in the back end, it is actually uh, provides a service uh, for your log storage and log analysis and also for the central account directory monitoring purpose if you look at in the right side all this data is actually processing the storage exits with the client subscription this means no data processing ever takes with microsoft databricks managed subscription now let's also look at when to use azure databricks Azure Databricks is entirely based on a, uh, Apache Spark and um, such a great tool for those already familiar with open source cluster computing framework and uh, it's a unified analytics engine. Uh, it is designed for uh, specifically for big data processing and data scientists and it can take advantage of built-in core API for core languages like SQL, Java, Python or or Scala language and you could use a Databricks for different solutions. So let's take some of the scenarios based on solutions. Let's say you have a data science preparation of data. So let's say you want to create or clone or edit uh, clusters of complex and structured data turns into your specific jobs and delivers them to data scientists and data analysis uh, for reviewing then you would be you know, using the data science as a preparation of the data and other one uh, when to use uh, would be case would be the finding relevant insights in the data the recommendation engines and churn analysis and instruction detection and common scenarios that may organizations solve across multiple industries using the data breaks so that would be one of the use case uh, for data breaks and now let's also look at for other case like improving productivity across data and analytics teams so this is another case to create a collaborative environment and share your workspace for your data engineers and your analysis and your data scientists to work together across the data science life, uh, life cycle with shared workspaces uh, to saving the teams precious time and resources then you could you know use this improve productivity so altogether you could you know improve your productivity across data and uh, between your teams and last one would be the uh, definitely for uh, big data workloads uh, which is nothing but your you could you know leverage your delta lake and engine to get the best performance and reliability for your big data workloads and to create a uh, no first or multi-step data pipeline so you could use a big data workload and the last but not the least uh, machine learning programs as we talked within this session uh, this is one of the best use case to leverage integrate end-to-end -end machine learning environment uh, for incorporating managing services for experiment tracking your model training uh, feature development management and feature and model serving so these all of them are the best use cases uh, are when to use the azure data bricks so that being said we could you know conclude this lecture uh, with the learnings we learn where to use and how the data break works within the within this diagram and also uh, the three environments where we are going to utilize this data breaks so we learn all of this within the short lecture and we'll catch in the next lecture for another data integration solution thank you